Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the third day of the Novena to Saint Ignatius of Loyola. The theme is Christ and the art of living in love in time of crisis. In a special way, we pray for the elderly dealing with the present crisis, that during this time of uncertainty, they may find hope and reassurance in the words of today's responsorial psalm. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For this grace, let us pray during this Eucharistic celebration. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Return, O faithless children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you have multiplied and increased in the land, in those days, says the Lord, they shall no more say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind or be remembered or missed. It shall not be made again. 
At that time Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall gather to it, to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they shall no more stubbornly follow their own evil heart. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Our response. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coast. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. Our response. The Lord, the Lord will, will guard, guard us as, as a shepherd, shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord, to the corn, the new wine, and the oil, to the flocks of sheep and the herds. Our response, the Lord, the Lord will guard, guard us as, as a shepherd, shepherd guards, guards his flock. Then the young girl will rejoice and dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. Our response, the, the Lord, Lord will, will guard, guard us as, as a shepherd, shepherd guards his flock. Acclamation. <laughs> with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory, glory to be to you lord jesus said to his disciples hear the parable of the sower when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation O persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is he who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the delight in riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is he who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case, a hundredfold, in another, sixty, and in another, thirty. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The contemplation to attain the love of God is a kind of capstone of Ignatius's spiritual exercises. Sometimes it is phrased as the contemplation on divine love. 
Since God's love is not something that we attain through our own actions, rather, through this meditation, we become aware of the gracious and abundant love of God. And in turn, our response to God is always out of love, generosity, and freedom. The first reading taken from Jeremiah chapter 3 verses 14 to 17 reminds us of God's love for his people. Return, O faithless children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. God is very much concerned for his people that he even promises, and I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. On my path, what is my response to God's love and concern for me? Is my heart like the good soil as mentioned in today's gospel? As for the seed that fell on good soil, it is the one who hears the word and understands it. This seed bears fruit and produces a hundred or sixty or thirty times more. In order to allow my heart to become the good soil, I will need to allow Jesus to come more and more into my life. This does not mean that I will not experience any difficulties in my life when I do this. In fact, the theme of today, Christ and the art of living in love in times of crisis, precisely challenges us, especially during these times. However, it is only when we have a goal or motivation in life that this will be possible. In fact, St. Ignatius' famous spiritual exercises begin with the consideration that the goal of our human life is to love God and so to have fullness of life with Him forever. And everything in God's good creation, if they direct us towards that goal, can be used to help us love God better. On the other hand, created things can also hinder us from attaining that goal if they displace God as the object of our love. So Saint Ignatius says, we should desire and choose only what helps us more towards the end for which we are created. That is, our every thought, word, and action is directed towards loving God more. May the following prayer attributed to Pedro Arupe enable us in this endeavor. Nothing is more practical than finding God. That is then falling in love in a quiet, absolute, final way. What you are in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the mornings, what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, who you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything. Let this be our prayer as we celebrate this Eucharist. My dear sisters and brothers, there are many prayers that we have in our hearts. Let's voice a few of them. Let your response be, Lord, give us your love and your grace. Lord, give, give us, us your love and your, your grace. grace. That God may so communicate himself to us, that he inflames us with his love and disposes us for the way in which we can better serve him. 
Let us pray. Lord, Lord give, give us, us your, your love and your, your grace. grace. That the love of God may give us understanding and sympathy for every human need, weakness, aspiration and suffering. Let us pray. Lord, Lord give, give us, us your love and your, your grace. That the love of God may make us selfless, wanting to serve, not to be served, not seeking prestige and power, but solely and purely the glory of God and the good of those we are sent to serve. Let us pray. Lord, Lord give, give us, us your love and your, your grace. grace. Dear Lord Jesus, these are a few of the many prayers that we have voiced. There are many more prayers in our hearts. You bring them to fulfillment in your own time. We make this prayer in your name. Amen. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, when we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever 
and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus, who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh 
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Novena prayer in honor of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Loving God, in these difficult times of the coronavirus, we know that you walk with us and strengthen us for the journey ahead. During this novena in memory of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, we ask you to make our hearts like the heart of your son Jesus. Give us your Holy Spirit so that we bring hope to those who are struggling or afraid. We place ourselves in your hands, O Lord, with our joys and our hopes, our works and our sufferings, all that we are and all that we do. Today, we specially pray or oh, ask your blessing for all the elderly dealing with the crisis. We also pray for our personal intention. Bless us, gracious God, and help us to strive for love that is shown in service. May we work to build up one human family for your greater glory. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give me all